Hello, uh, this is Dr. Carlos Guerrero. I'm the scientific director for Fertility Specialist of Texas. Uh, so we've had some questions from our patients regarding embryo grading. So I wanted to uh, take a minute to talk about embryo grading. Uh, there's different stages where we grade embryos, specifically day three and day five. I'm, I'm going to talk more about day five, which is the, the day where uh, we have blastocyst um, and the day we use um, more of the embryos for transfer, genetic testing, freezing, and so forth. So on day five, we have the embryo uh, stage called the blastocyst. The blastocyst is the stage where we have um, different layers in the embryo. We have cells in the inside for the, 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 the baby. We have cells on the outside for the placenta. And then we have a, the formation of a cavity. So we have over 100, 150 cells on day five. Um, so why do we grade embryos? Grading of embryos is extremely important in the way that we can um, assess quality in a way that we can determine which one is the best embryo for transfer and which embryo has the highest um, chance for implantation. So if we have 10 embryos and we grade them, basically we're doing a sort of a ranking of which one is the best one all the way to, to the worst quality or, or the, best, uh, the best embryo all the way down to the embryo that has the least chance um, to become a baby basically. So how do we grade embryos? So again, we go and grade the baby cells and the baby cells are, those cells are inside that cavity. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mass of cells and, and what we try to see is how big it is. So if it has a good amount of cells, uh, a big size inside that cavity that is clear, uh, there's no fragments, no degenerate cells, pretty compacted, that will be a top quality uh, grade for the inner cell mass. Um, we grade uh, A through F. So our grading system is a little bit more robust compared to uh, a lot of the grading systems out there, which are A, B, C. Um, so our A's are top quality embryos. Usually about 5% of our embryos are graded as, as A's. It has to be a huge amount of cells, extremely compacted, uh, very clear, smooth, uh, reflect the, the, the light very well. Um, when we go to a B, it's a really good quality embryo, has a good amount of cells, clear, compacted. When we go to a C, the, the, the amount of cells is reduced. Now it's more of a smaller mass of cells. Um, and then when we go with uh, the, the lower grades, D, E, F, D is basically more scattered cells, so there's no compaction. And then E is more of a degeneration of some of those cells, and then F is basically cells are absent. So um, no inner cell mass or no baby cells. So when we go to the trophectoderm or the, the, the cells are outside of that uh, cavity, we, um, the grading goes A through D. So there's four letters basically as far as the grade. Um, a is gonna be that there's a lot of cells surrounding that cavity, tons of small cells. Uh, reflect the, the light really well. There's no dark cells, uh, very homogeneous, tons of cells. When we start dropping to a B, there's still lots of, of cells. It's a high quality embryo, a little bit larger cells uh, or a little bit uneven. When we go to a C grade, that's when we see more of a larger cells or longer types of cells, not as homogeneous, maybe not reflecting the light uh, as well. Um, that will be a fair quality embryo. And then when we go to D, is um, it's just very few cells, the embryos of very low quality, poor quality. So those are the, 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 the main things we evaluate. We have a, uh, an evaluation of the cavity as well, so um, which is basically not as important as the other two, the baby cells and the placental cells. Um, the cavity is more um, to make sure there's no dead cells or strands around that cavity uh, or fragments that can lower the overall quality of the embryo. So um, our grades have basically three letters, baby cells, placental cells, and the cavity. First two letters carry 90% of that weight. That's the most important, uh, the first two. But we have those three. 
it's a little bit more of a longer type of, of grading system and it's important to understand it and uh, that way we don't compare with other clinics um, as most clinics have only three letters a b c um, i think that by having a robust longer um, grading system it's it's uh, we can look at more of the details of the embryo and have a, a little bit more of a better understanding of what's going on with the development so that's basically how we grade blastocysts blastocysts when we uh, biopsy the embryos, uh, that's the stage we transfer embryos, that's the stage that's a very strong uh, part of the embryo, basically when it gets to those stages, it starts differentiating into the baby and the placenta. Um, so, um, so it's very important to grade and know the quality of those embryos and have proper training on doing this. Um, so I hope that this answers some of those questions as far as uh, grading goes for day five embryos.